Damien Muziani, how are you, my friend? Steve, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What a, a girls five ever on Peacock? Yeah, just drop the R. It's girls five ever. Girls five ever. Ah, the way cool people talk. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Damien. You know, I'm here. I'm still working on cool. You know, I didn't write the script. I didn't write this. It's a really funny show. It's it's probably geared more toward the female audience and maybe an older female audience. Right. Uh, older female audience. Yeah, yeah. Because here here's the here's the rub. Uh, the Spice Girls, big, big hit back in the early 90s, right? Right. Um, and then they broke up, and now they do, like, reunion tours or, you know, whatever. But it, this is sort of like a spoof on that. You know, think oh, of okay, okay, okay. How did you get wonder, in this? Look at you all over this thing. Uh, well, I'm not all over it. I'm in one, I'm in one episode. Well, I'm looking at you all over. Yeah, Damien took that one episode and made it look like he's the star of the show. So I love this man. He thinks on his feet. That's great. So now, uh, this show is renewed, right? This is season two finale. It's coming back, right? Well, this is, they're wrapping up season two. There's one episode left. It, airs, it comes on tomorrow on Peacock. It's right. an eight-episode season. Right. Uh, it's, it's a really, really funny, funny show. Tina Fey is the executive producer. And uh, it, it's it's really funny because it's, the idea is, what if the Spice Girls all lived normal lives for a while or abnormal lives after, and then they decided to come back and make a reunion, and hilarity ensues. And that's kind of the, the theme of the show. That is fantastic. And good things are happening for you now. I heard you got, you got a telly award. You got a video award. Yeah, yeah. It's been a very good... I mean, I, I think I've been due, Steve. Right? A lot of I, people I are overdue that too. the pandemic. I'm definitely overdue for some good stuff. Um, I started a, a weekly news show called Hindsight Tonight. Right. Uh, you can go on to hindsighttonight.com, YouTube, backslash Hindsight Tonight. It's on a, an online channel called the DBNA Television Network. It's all over the place. Three minutes. It's a, it's a summary of the week's news. I make it funny. I try to make it uh, interesting and, and peppy. And, uh, Peppy, and funny, got, uh, interesting, and Damian Muziani in three minutes. Could you beat that? Could you beat that? Uh, you can time an egg by me. Exactly. You, you put the microwave, you set it to three minutes, you put on hindsight <laughs> tonight, and when the bell goes off, you're laughing. You know more right. than you did three minutes ago. Does it get better than that? It doesn't get much better. I mean, I got nominated for a uh, Mid-Atlantic Emmy Award for writing it uh, last year, and that was unbelievable. That is very good. I never, ever thought I would get a nomination for uh, for an Emmy, so that's really cool. That but is really I won cool. this People's Telly, this gold People's Telly, where the, the public votes, and I was up against shows from Fox and CBS and MSNBC. For Hindsight Tonight? I, we... Yeah, I good say, stuff, I Damien. We, we we took the gold telly, man. Which and I know a lot of people are like, "What the hell is a gold telly?" It was named at the <laughs> telly Savalas, right? It's a lollipop. It's a tootsie pop. Well, it is bald. It's a it bald. Is bald. Okay. So it could be there. It's, it could be like that. I could, if I remade Kojak, that would be awesome. Yeah, Damien, you got to come in studio and hang out one night. I would love to, Steve. And uh, best uh, best of luck moving forward, man. I love your show, and I love what you do for uh, up and coming comics and. For people in general, you uh, are the go-to guy in Jersey.